I've got one that is uh, the world's first revolver class lure. And and these guys down here, uh, right at the end of my, my tank down here, have this particular worm. And what makes it different, a lot of it is the shape of the hook and the way this works, the way it retrieves. It, it's great for any kind of fisherman because it, it, it's so simple to work. Guys, you, you can work it like a worm, uh, just like you see me working this bait. Or, easiest way in the world to work a bait, everybody knows, is just throw it out and reel it in. Especially younger children, when they start fishing, they won't cast, they won't reel, they won't cast, they won't reel. Great thing about it is, is this plastic worm. And it attracts fish all sizes, you no know, small to large. And what you want to do is you want to throw it out, let it hit the water, and it, watch it when it sinks. It doesn't fall just straight down. And the reason for that is the weighted system that's on it. It's not really a weighted system at all. It, it, it's a plastic head, but let the thing go down and hit the bottom, and you just give it a medium retrieve, and it does its own action. It twists and turns. A lot of it's the way you, you hook the worm on the head, but then it, it's the patented action in the hook that actually gives that bait the, the revolving action that you see. Throw it out, let it sink down, it sinks slowly, it gets fish attention. Remember what I said, fish do like plastic that fall at a slow rate, especially in the early uh, spring when the water is cool. Anyway, anybody interested and want to look and see more, we, they've got some great video of this particular bait out there. Um, he's got a, a large screen television set up, and you guys can watch it. Now, you can fish at any depth. It works great just right under the water, right on top of the water. Put it out, and if, if, you, if the fish are shallow or you're in shallow water, guys, just start to retrieve a little bit early and you're going to see how the bait revolves in a circle and around. And it's important you fish this bait exactly how these guys tell you that. You got a question? Say the name of it again. Is there a name for that? Is there a name for that? Yes. It is called the Swimming Snake. And, and I know this, this gentleman down here in the black shirt catch Mo Bass. If you want to look at these baits, guys, he will fix you up. The great thing about it is you can fish at any depth if you don't wrap your line around the end of the rod. You, uh, you know, you can count down one, two, three, three Georgia, four it, and get your depth down. It's kind of, a lot of times the fish are biting at a certain depth. You want to count down and then start reeling at the depth. If you're getting bit by count down to five, throw it out and count down to five, and then start your retrieve. Because a lot of times you see how bait, uh, how fish will suspend. You've got to get the bait in front of the fish. If it's not in front of the fish, they're not going to bite it. So it's not always best to throw a bait and put it right on the bottom. If the fish are not there, you're generally not going to catch them. If they're suspended. You gotta get a bait still that'll come in front of them. <laughs> Very first revolving bait on the market, guys, and y'all saw it right here at the Georgia Fish Ramen. <laughs>